Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Rosa. How are you today? Um, fine, teacher. But I um, I did my my exam. Ah, you did the exam or haven't done? Hmm. Ya lo hizo. Uh huh. But. I did my exam, uh huh. So, or you finished but, the exam? No, it, the first section is a listening. Uh huh. But the video listening, it doesn't hear. You couldn't hear the listening. Uh huh. Oh, that's weird. What about you, Jesus? Hi, teacher. Good night. Hi, Jesus. Good night. How are you? I fine. Have you completed the final exam? Uh, no yet. No yet. Okay, let me check what's happening the with chair. the listening. Yes. It, it, the, the exam is is, is different. Uh, es como son varias claves o es una sola para el nivel de nosotros. Es una sola. Uh, Bueno, quizás por lo que veo en los demás grupos, lo que están poniendo. Ah, ¿cómo están? Que hay uno que, que, que ponen del was y el wasen, que ese, no me acuerdo de verlo, o quizás sí. Pero lo tienen como más definidas las oraciones. Del was, wasen. Puede ver el examen de nosotros. Accesar a la plataforma. Ajá. Sí, ahorita estoy acá en eso. Compartir. Principiante módulo 3. Oh, mm, se otra vez. Okay, this is um, mm -hmm. Principiante Módulo 3, 5.3. Uh, click on... So you say the exam is like when we start lesson pronunciation, negative interaction. WH questions, this is today's topic. Now let's check lesson or power uh -huh. and the reading. And then we have the exam here. No. No, this is the siempre la sección 5, esa. Uh -huh. Pero el examen. Ajá. Uh -huh. This is the exam that you see in the platform. Es el primero, es un listening, pero ¿dónde escucho ese listening? Abajo está, hay una como, como icono, donde usted lo, lo, lo presiona, ahí está ese. En, esa, ah. en, ese, en ese triangulito. Ah, sí, acá. Pero a mí no me aparece. Ah, es que se bloquea. Tiene que darle anterior. Así me pasa a mí. Si lo oigo varias veces, si lo escucho varias veces, lo que hago es que le doy anterior y después lo vuelvo no, a dar siguiente. Bien. Y ahí se vuelve, vuelve a sonar. No, uh -huh. ah, no, pero yo no veo, yo no veo el recuadro ese. Ay, en, mi, en mi plataforma no lo veo. Hijo y que wow. es lo que yo le mandé en el WhatsApp, teacher. Uh -huh. Espérame, espérame un ratito. Paulita, préstame el celular. ¿Qué es lo que me gusta? ¿Cuál es lo que me gusta? Ajá, en WhatsApp. Ahorita veo que escribí. Solo se le voy a mandar otra vez. No, no, no. Mmm. 
no, no ha caído nada de eso. Vaya. Ahí le mando ahorita una imagen. Esto es de la lectura. No. Siempre del examen. No, no cae. Será que de ver, no, no me ha caído nada. Pero, pero. En el WhatsApp. Uh -huh. No ha caído nada. Ok, cuando sea así, uh, tienen que irse a, hasta abajo, donde dice centro de ayuda, acá. Acá. Le da clic ahí abajo donde dice centro de ayuda. Aquí le dice descargar, la, crear cuenta, activar, restablecer, contraseña, probar audios, probar audio durante, cómo probar altavoz, unirse desde un móvil, veamos. Uh, no aparece ninguna acá de las que necesito. Entonces lo que tiene que hacer es llamar a la oficina. Aquí aparecen los números para que usted llame. Para que le arreglen si es solo con su plataforma el problema. Aquí no aparece tampoco ese tipo de problema. Entonces hay que llamar. Porque sí, si sí, a todos nos aparece. Si no le aparece a usted está raro entonces. Uh -huh. Ok, and the rest of you, los demás no han tenido problemas con eso. No. No. No, yo ya casi termino el examen, ya solo me faltan dos, dos secciones. Uh -huh. Sí, porque ahí lo otro que se puede hacer es que alguien le dé play al listening, lo grabe como una nota de voz y lo se mande lo al grupo. Ah, para okay. que usted lo escuche uh -huh. y responda. O le, o le tomo foto de lo que respondí y lo más fácil para ella. Sí, porque la cosa es de que si no le resuelven y la plataforma va a cerrar el, el creo que dijeron que el viernes es último día. ¿verdad? El viernes, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, para porque no, va, no va a llegar al porcentaje. Uh -huh. O sea, lo demás, lo demás ya lo hice y ahorita estoy en un porcentaje como del 93. Ah, pues ya, ah, pues ya pasó. Uh -huh. Ya pasó, pero si usted gusta que le mande el audio, que alguien lo grabe como nota de voz y que se los mande. No, vaya, este, Pedro me puede ayudar. Sí, sí, no hay problema, ya, ya se los mando cuando terminemos. Ok, okay. mil gracias, gracias. Pedro. Gracias. Ok, another question or comment, alguna otra pregunta, comentario. Es, yo tuve mucho problema con lo de las direcciones, sí, sí que me... Vaya, con lo de las direcciones lo vamos a ver el día de mañana, que el día de mañana es para repaso. Y okay. con las direcciones lo que hay que hacer es como enriquecerse de vocabulario, porque eso hay muchas maneras de decir lo mismo. Sí. Por ejemplo, si a usted le preguntan a dónde está el, a dónde están las cascadas, usted puede decir la cascada es está a la par de multiplaza. Esa es una opción. Puedo uh -huh. decir, ah, está sobre la calle, no me las puedo, sobre tal calle. Vea. Panamericana. Ajá. Ah, está sobre la Panamericana. Está uh -huh. a la izquierda. Entre de la... la Panamericana y la Chiltiupán. Ajá, entre la Panamericana y la Chiltiupán. Está entre... ¿Entre qué? Entre multiplaza. Gran Vía y, y multiplaza. O está opuesto a la escuela militar. Entonces, con eso lo único que necesita es tener mucho vocabulario. Pero que puede, uh -huh. entre más vocabulario tenga, usted puede decirlo de diferentes formas. Orientar a una persona para las direcciones. Pero mañana vamos a repasar vocabulario. Vamos a empezar la clase con ese tema. Y que usted siempre está atento y es la primera conectada. <ríe> siempre la encuentro ahí. Entonces mm -hmm. vamos a empezar con eso. Algo otro de, ya lo tengo anotado aquí, directions. Algo otro tema. Carlos, Mónica, Andrea, Roxana, Jesús, Pedro. No. No. 
que eso es lo más complejo, la dirección. Direcciones, ajá, es práctica. Vamos a practicar mucho ese vocabulario, repetir, repetir y repetir. Ok. Ok, let's begin. So, for today we have uh, questions. No le di compartir, ahora le doy compartir. Ok. So, we have the two types of questions. Aquí vamos a practicar los dos tipos de pregunta. Ok, here we are. It says WH questions with did, was, and where. So, tenemos las WH questions. ¿Qué dijimos que son las WH questions? Que pueden ser sí o no. No. ¿Y la? Esas son las yes, no. Las WH questions. They begin with the WH word. Ellas empiezan con una palabra de WH, como por ejemplo, where, what, when, why. Así comienzan y son para dar información. Ok, para preguntar a dónde creciste. Where did, ahí usamos did. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Let's repeat. Where did you grow up? Where did, Where did you, grow, you up? grow up? I grew Where? up in Texas. I grew up, I grew up in, Texas. in Texas. I grew up in Texas. Mm -hmm. What about you, Rosa? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Santa Tecla. Okay. Ask the same question to another classmate. Uh, Andrea, where did, where did you grow up? I grew up in Salvador. Okay, continue, Andrea, the same question. Pedro, where were you? No, excuse me, where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Okay, continue, Pedro. Eh, quiero ver quién es. Andrea? Yes. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I mean, where did you grow up? Okay. Well, uh, the next question is what did your father do there? ¿Qué hacía tu padre ahí? Where did your father do there? What? What did your father do there? The answer, he worked, he worked in a bank. He worked in a bank. Mm -hmm. When did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 2000. I came to Los Angeles in 2000. Why did you become a hairstylist? What do you want to become a hairstylist? Because I didn't need the money. Because, because I didn't need, need the money. money. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have the other two questions. Las que van con was where. or where. Cuando trabajamos was or where, no trabajamos did, ¿verdad? Sí. Ni otro verbo, solo ello. Let's repeat. Where were you born? Where were you born? Where were you born? Where I was born in Dallas. I was born, I was born in Dallas. Dallas. Mm -hmm. Where were you born, Andrea? I was born in San Salvador. Okay, let's uh, ask the same question to another class. Where Let's were you born, Rosa? I was ah. born hmm? Roxana. Okay, I was born in San Salvador. Okay, continue, Roxana. Same question. Um, where were you born, Douglas? Douglas? Thank you. Douglas, where were you born? 
Okay, Carlos, where were you born? Uh, I born San Miguel. I was born. I was born in San Miguel. Okay, continue, Carlos. Ask the same question to another classmate. Um, Jesus, where were you born? I was born in Zacatecoluca. Okay. Well, the next uh, question is, where were you born? When were you born? It's when. When. Cuando. Uh -huh. When were you born? Mm, no, when. La otra es. When. Uh, where? When. 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 This. when. When were you born? Es cuando. Eh, acuérdense que pueden separar las, los años en dos uh, cifras. 1982, por ejemplo. I was born in 1982. Uh, when were you born, Pedro? I was born in 19... When? Uh -huh. ah, when? When? I was born in 1990. Excellent. Same question, another classmate. Um, Carlos? Yes. When were you born? I was born in 1978. 78. 78, uh huh. 78. Continue. Uh, Rosana, when were you born? I was born. Okay, Roxana, continue. Uh, uh, Andrea, when were you born? I was born in 1994. Okay, mm -hmm. good, Andrea, continue. And uh, when were you born, Roxana? I was born in 19... 76. Okay, continue. Uh, Monica. Yes. When were, when were you born? I was born in 1977. Okay, well, that's nice. How old were you in 2000? How old were you in 2000? How old were you in 2000? 2000. Okay, uh -huh. 2000. Uh -huh. 30. Uh -huh. 30. 30. I was. How old were you in 2000? Estoy dando tiempo que haga la cuenta. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was 23. Okay, let's ask the question. How old were you in 2000, Rosa? How old were you in 2000? Mm, I was, I'm not sure, 25. Okay, mm -hmm. 25. Ask the same question to another classmate. Uh, Carlos, how old were you in 2000? I was 22. 22. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus, how how old were you in 2000? I was 19. I was 19. 
Okay, continue. Uh, Monica. Yes. How old were you in 2000? I was 23. 23. Okay. Damn. Okay. Um, the, well, the next question is what was your major in college? What was what was your major in college? What was the specialidad in the universidad? Okay, drama. I was an actor for five years. Now, let's see. Let's match the questions to the answer. Look at them and then tell. O pueden escribir nada más, así como está aquí. Where were you born? The answer is letter E. In Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, number one, letter E. Just write the number and the letter in your notebook. Mm -hmm. What's your first day of school? It was some school. Who was your first friend in school? She was really friendly. Finish? Finish. Yes. Okay, uh, let's listen the answer. Okay, do it like this. Where were you born? Uh, in Hiroshima, Japan. Okay. Volunteer mm -hmm. for number two. Pedro? Where did you grow up? The answer is D. I grew up in no. Tokyo. Yes, D. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Three. Three, yes. What was your first day of the school? It was a little scary. scary. Yeah. It was a little scary. Uh -huh. It was a little scary. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number four, teacher. Yes. Uh, who was your... Uh, who was your first friend in school? A little B. So you say the answer. Oh, it's A. Her name was. Her name, her name was. Kimiko. Kimiko. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, number five. What was he or she likes? She was Philippine. B. Yes, that's the answer. And finally, number six. Why did you take this class? I I wanted to improve. English. English. Uh-huh. I wanted to improve my English. My English. 
Okay. Those are the answers. Now, let's write down these questions. Vamos a escribir estas preguntas. When were you born? When was your father born? When was your mother born? Let's write the questions. Ahorita van a escribirlas en su cuaderno, las seis preguntas. Finish writing the questions? No. No? Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's yes. practice pronunciation. When were you born? When were, when you, were born? you born? When, when was your father born? When was your father born? When was your mother born? When was your mother born? When did you turn 13? When, when did, did you did turn 13? 13? When did you start high school? When did you start did high, school? You start high school? school? When did you begin to study English? When did you when begin, did to, you study begin English? to study English? Study English. Are the questions clear? ¿Están claro lo que significan las preguntas o hay alguna que no? Uh, turn the four. Uh, number four. Es, es como decir cuando cumpliste los trece. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces, para decir yo cumplí con ustedes, no hay ningún problema. 25 años antes de ustedes. Señor. Bueno, ok, ahí tienen que decir cuándo cumplieron los 13. Es decir, I turned, I turned 13 in 1995, for example. I turned 13 in 1995. ¿En qué año cumplió los 13? Mm -hmm. I turned 13 in 1995, por ejemplo. 13, 16, 17. So, let's answer the questions. Primero las van a responder. Complete answer. When were you born? I was born in... Mm -hmm. When was your father born? My father was born in, my mother was born in, 
Tienen que escribir respuestas completas. Teacher high school es la escuela. Yeah, high school uh -huh, es como la uh, bachillerato. That is high school. Have you finished? Yes. Um, okay, now I will divide the section into groups. I'm gonna make two groups. Okay, uh, remember to click join or unirse if it is in Spanish and you will practice with your classmates. You will ask and answer those questions to practice your speaking, okay? Okay, los voy a dividir en grupo para que practiquen haciéndose las preguntas. Okay, there you go. Carlos, Jesús, Roxana.
Ask the next question. Okay. When did you turn 13, Jesus? I, uh, I turned 13 in 1994. I was turn 13 no, no, no. in... It was, lo que pasa que como lleva el did, eh, creo que no lleva el was, Pedro. Ajá, exacto, no lleva, ajá. Ah, es cierto. Yo ¿Verdad que no lleva el, el, el ajá, porque lleva el ah, auxiliar. Ah, when, when did you turn? Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Okay. Ajá, exacto. Tendría que ser okay. I turn, de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Sí, I turn. Uh -huh. I turn okay. in 90, 1994. Ok, continue. Eh, Andrea, when you, when were you born? I was born in 1994. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Carlos, when were uh, your, uh, your mother born in this, but then the question. When, uh -huh. when was when your was. mother born? Okay. My mother was born in 1944. Okay, very good. Continue. Okay, este Pedro, when did you begin to study English? I began to study English in 1980. All right, continue. Okay, uh, Carlos. I do start. I do start high school in ninety. No ponerle el do. Start. Que como no estoy usando el auxiliar del do, tengo que poner el verbo en pasado. Así, pero si yo le pongo el do, yo digo I do not start. Start no, no, normal. No Ajá. Uh -huh. I start high school in 1992. Mm -hmm. Solo así. Yes. Okay. I start con D. E de. Start. Con uh -huh. Okay. La otra pregunta. Uh, Roxana, when did you be, when did you begin to study English? Uh, I did I did begin uh, actuality. Rosa. Oh, oh, hola. When did you be, begin to study English? I began study English uh, on I October 14th. I began to study English. I began mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Study, study English on October 14th. 14th. And Roxana, when did you begin to study English? I began to actuality. Hi. Can you repeat? I did, I did begin actuality. 
No, ¿Cuándo empezó a estudiar inglés? Esa es la pregunta. Ajá, en, en, este, bueno, en este curso. Ajá. Eh, sería entonces en el 2019. ¿En? Su tazo. My thousand. Nineteen. 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 Uh-huh. Continue. Okay. Roxana, when was your mother born? I was born in nineteen. Finish your speaking practice? Yes. Okay, very good. Now we will continue exercising in the arcade here. One exercise, one more exercise. But I have to share the screen with you. Just let me. Teacher. Yes? Teníamos una duda, ¿verdad? Que cuando respondemos y la pregunta lleva el auxiliar did, eh, tenemos que conjugar el verbo para responder. Sí, si va a responder con una afirmación, sí, va a conjugar el verbo. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, did you go to work in the morning? Ok, ahí tendríamos que, que conjugar el verbo. Work. I work. O oh, si le pregunté si fue, el verbo es go. Ah, ok. So you say, yes, I went to work in the morning. Conjugamos okay. go para sí. went. Mm -hmm. Sí, 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 ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Eh, aquí estamos viendo los, para transformar los, los verbos, por ejemplo, turn es turn. Yes, turn. Yes. Uh -huh, turn. Student, student. Study, studied. Uh -huh. Studied. Uh -huh. Y begin, began. Begin, began. Uh -huh. Entonces, ayer me necesito ocupar el lead para estar respondiendo porque ya estamos incluyendo no. el pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exacto. En el, okay. el did solo lo va a utilizar como verbo o en pregunta como auxiliar y para ser negativas también. Ajá, did I not. Ajá. Y cuando lo ocupa así, cuando ocupa el auxiliar, o sea, en pregunta o en oración negativa, no conjuga el verbo. Lo deja en presente. Ok. Lo va a ir conjugando cuando esté haciendo oraciones afirmativas. ¿Ok? Ok, gracias. Ok, okay let's do another exercise. Okay, here in this short conversation, we have to complete it with the words that you have there in the box. We have born, 
was, are, wasn't, and were. There is one extra word. It means that you're not going to use them all, but you have to complete the conversation. Let's see, it says, do you speak Korean? Yes, I do. My parents are from South Korea. You in South Korea? How do I complete that question? Where are you born? Uh, let's see. Where, you born? Where are you born? Okay. Were you born in South Korea? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was. Let's check your answer. That's are correct. Let's repeat. Do you speak Korean? Do you, do speak, you Korean? speak Korean? Yes, I do. My parents are from South Korea. Yes, yes I, I do. do. My, My parents are from, are from South, South, South Korea. Korea. Were you born in South Korea? Were you born, were in, you South born in South Korea? Korea? No, I wasn't. I was born in the U.S. No, no I, I was, was, I was I born, born in the U.S. Next exercise. Mm -hmm. Are you, Are you from, from Japan? Japan? Japan. Japan. Uh, yeah. I was. I was born, born. in Osaka. Mm -hmm. I was. Really? When did, did you, you move? Move. Move. Here. Move here. I, I moved, moved here I moved. two years ago. Uh -huh. Okay, your answers are correct. Let's repeat. Are you from Japan? Are you, are from, you Japan? from Japan? Yes, I am. I was born in Osaka. Yes, yes, I, I am. am. I, I was, was born, born in Osaka. In Osaka. Really? When did you move here? Really? Really? When did you move here? I moved here two years ago. I moved two years, two years, two years, two years ago. ago. Okay. Let's see the next one. When, when, did, when is you graduate? When did you graduate? When graduate from college? Uh -huh. I graduate. I graduated in twenty ten. What was, what was your college mayor? Okay, you did an excellent job. Let's repeat. When did you graduate from college? When did you graduate, when did you from, you graduate from, college? from college? I graduated in 2010. I graduated in 2010. What was your college major? What, what was, was your college major? major? My major was engineering. My, My major, major was engineering. engineering. Okay. Let's see. With this, we finish today's section. Yes. Uh, so, ¿se acordaron de algo otro tema para mañana? Only directions. Yes. Okay, only directions. So we will have the review See. tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Roxana? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. So see you tomorrow then. Thank you for joining today's lesson.
So for tomorrow we will finish and it will be the last class. Entonces, si en el transcurso del día se les ocurre, ah, se me olvidó que quiero repasar tal tema, escríbanlo a WhatsApp. Yo voy a estar pendiente mañana de revisar. Ok. 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 Thank you. Ok. Thank you for joining the section. So, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.